So today's theme we are looking at being joyful. Um, so we've got two affirmations for the end and a lovely relaxation, all based around joy, being happy, being kind and bright like the sun. So we will get started. So we're going to start by warming up. So yoga is really great for physically, for the body, really good to take. Um, this is a really good video to do if you are home studying with the children and they need a bit of a move and break. Um, it's good to get energised again and refocus again afterwards. So we're going to come to do a warm up. So we're going to stand up, knees like Jagger. So we're going to start by walking on the spot. Get those knees up, take the feet apart, just hip bit apart, breathe in, take the arms up and bring the arms down, breathe out. Breathe in, take the arms up and down. As you come down, bring your head down too. Breathe in, take the arms up, look up at the thumbs. Breathe out, arms down, look down as well. Good, take the arms wide like a star. We're doing a star today. Come up onto tiptoes and down again. Good, really nice. This time we're going to take one leg back, punch forwards. Punch your arms up. Punch your arms forwards. Arms to the front, then sweep them across so now you're facing the other way. Then we do the same. Punch the arms forwards. Punch the arms up. Punch the arms forwards. Great. Up. Forwards, hands together, bring them to the front. Come down, hands by the heart, sink down. This is in a yogi squat. Or what if we put our hands down, this is frog pose too. Good, rise up, arms up high. Make your star on your tiptoes. Can you come onto balance on one foot? Feet back down, take the legs out as well. Good. We start to punch again. Are you ready? Punch forwards. Get those arms moving. Bend that front leg. Arms up. And forwards. Up. Hands together. Make a rainbow go over the top this time. Punch forwards. Bend that front knee. Arms up. Forwards. Arms up palms together, leave the hands up, come to centre, feet together, tree pose, take the knee up and out to the side, plant that foot on the leg, if you need to bring your hands down for balance you can keep your arms down by your heart, hands together, let's try the other side, take the other leg up, knee out, really put that foot into the side of the leg, good and breathe here, back to centre. Good, we're going to do star jumps here, so jump out and in, arms up and down. Jump to the side, back to the back, arms to the side, arms to the side as well, and back to the front. Good, marching. Who can run? Let's run on the spot. Keep running, fast feet, fast as you can. Fast, 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 fast. And stop. <sighs> Hi, good. Come and sit yourself back down. Lovely. Good, come down to sit down. I think my playlist is on shuffle. Something for you to think about. <laughs> good. We're going to come to do some breathing now. So when you're ready, we're sitting in our easy pose. On our bottoms, put your hands on the floor and lift your bottom up. Older ones, can you be really strong and lift your feet off too? Lift, lift, lift and drop them down. Good. Give yourself a little wriggle. So today, because it's lovely and sunny, we're going to do some sunshine breaths and puppy dog breath as well, because the affirmation for the end is joyful like a puppy. Let's start by taking cleansing breaths. This helps to really get rid of any 
air that we need to get rid of and it also gets rid of any anger or anything that we're not happy about. So sit up nice and tall like a mountain. Take a deep breath in through the nose and hold the breath. Hold, 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 hold. Open the mouth and sigh out. Go another one, deep breath in. And open the mouth, shoot all the air out. Good, lovely. Take your hands together, rub your hands. And then clasp your hands and wriggle your wrists. This is good if you've been doing lots of writing. Good. Let's do our sunshine breath. So we need to stand up for our sunshine breath. So come to standing, feet together, hands by your heart. Breathe in, take the arms up, look up at the hands, breathe in. And then as we breathe out through our mouth, slowly open the arms. <sighs> Making the sun shine. Breathe in, take the arms up. Open the arms down. <sighs> One more time, breathe in. This time come up onto tiptoes if you want as you breathe in. Really tall, breathe out slowly, take the arms down by the sides. Good, lovely. Sit back down, we're gonna do our dog breath now. So, hands on your knees, you're gonna be a dog this morning. So, I'll demonstrate, Ali will demonstrate for you. Breathe, I breathe in. And I do lots of puffs out. <laughs> You could try it and stick your tongue out like a dog panting in the hot air. Ready, breathe in. Good. Now, extra thing, you can either do what we just did or you can make it even harder. And what we do is we do a breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in. And this will mean you can do more than five of them. So we'll try that. So we do breathe in. Ready? Breathe in, that was really good. Come back to normal with your breath. And breathe out. Let's try again. Should we try for a bit more than 10 this time? Take a deep breath in, really deep breath. And then we do our out in, out in. deep breath in and breathe out just bring your breath back to normal place your right hand one hand on your chest one hand on your tummy close your eyes feel your breath as you breathe in feel your chest and tummy moving and then breathe out feel it go back down again breathe in feel everything moving feel your body move breathe out good really nice beautiful Okay, we're gonna come to our sun salutation song now. So if you're on the playlist, it's the Dance for the Sun by Kira Wiley playlist. So I'm just gonna put that here. It helps me to know what I'm doing. So we stand up, feet together. Breathe in, take the arms up, look up at the thumbs. Breathe out, come down, touch your feet, tickle your toes. Hands on the floor, do a nice hop back to your plank or surfboard. Come down onto your tummy. Then we leave our feet on the floor, look up. And now downward dog. So tuck your toes, lift your bottom in the air. This is our dog pose. Jump in and we stand back up. That's what we're doing. We're just repeating that a few times. Breathe in, take the arms up. Look up at the thumbs. Breathe out, come down to the floor. Hands on the floor, jump back to surfboard. Strong, strong plank. Come down onto your tummy. Look up. Look up at the lovely sun today. Downward dog. This is my friend Milo's favourite pose. Some of us know this one. Take a deep breath. Look at your feet. Ready? Look at your hands now and jump in. Touch your toes. Tickle your toes. Look at your knees or your shins. Breathe in. Stretch up and down. So this time I'm going to say um, body parts. Hands up, look at the thumbs. Breathe out, feet. Hands on the floor, jump back. Tummy to the floor. Head up, look up. 
feet tucked. Look at your feet bottom up, tailbone. This is your tailbone here. Wag your tail like a joyful puppy. Ready, bend the knees forwards and touch the feet again. Stretch up high, look at your thumbs and down. Amazing, well done everybody, good. This is where we're looking, thumbs. Down, shins. Look at the mat, jump back to surfboard, look at the floor in between the thumbs. Hold plank, lift one leg, hold it here, bring the knee to the nose and bring the leg back, other side, lift the leg, good, knee to nose, hand out, come onto your knees and then we find a child's pose, so sit on your heels, arms tickle your feet, good, breathing here. Breathing out and slowly bring your head up when you're finished. Good, so that helps us to get nice and warm. Well done, how did you get on with that? Did you remember how to do all of the moves? I changed it right at the last minute to do some strength, which is what we did last week. So we did a bit of a recap there. Perfect, okay, we're gonna play our numbers game now. So numbers game. How many body parts of the body can you get on the mat with the numbers that I say? So, for example, let's have a go at the first one. Three. Three parts of your body on the mat. So, just bear in mind that actually, I don't know just stung me. Um, your bottom is one. So maybe because we're on our bottom anyway, you might do butterfly pose because your bottom's on the floor, feet on the floor, and then open your knees. So you can count your body parts. One, my bottom, and then two and three, the edges of my feet in butterfly. And then you can bring your knees up and down. We can do our breath as well. So we can bring, breathe in, bring the knees up, and breathe out, put the knees down. Breathe in, knees up. Breathe out, knees down, our butterfly pose. Thanks guys, amazing. So the next number we're gonna do, we've done number three, our butterfly pose. Now we're gonna do our balance. Hi Ellie, we're gonna do number one. So, like I said, your bottom is one, so maybe you'll balance on your bottom, or you can balance on your back. If you'd rather do that, you can choose your own balance. We're gonna do, we did tree in the warm up, so let's have a go at tree again. Try and be really focused. So bring one knee up and then send the knee out to the side. So now we're standing on our one point, our foot. Maybe can you try and challenge yourself, take your arms up. Open your branches, your arms are your branches of your tree. And just keep breathing here, let's stay here for one. Two, and I love the number three, three, hands together, hands by the heart, and then slowly bring the foot down. Try the other side, bring the knee up first, take the knee out to the side, plant that foot on the inside of your standing leg. Staying here if you're a bit wobbly, or you can take your arms up. Open. Our lovely trees are full of tr leaves at the moment. They're really open, taking the beautiful sunshine today. Just think about what else plants need to grow, apart from sunshine. Can you think of them? Can you name them? They need water. So hands together. Do your trickly hands down. Good. Amazing. And they need nutrients. So some plants get their nutrients from the soil that they're grounded in through their roots. Amazing. Sometimes we might help plant with our flowers by putting extra nutrients on with sprays and things. But things normally grow naturally on their own with those three things. Amazing. Good. Last number for today. Milo wanted to know. Just introduce you to Milo because he's not said hello this morning. Milo's my lovely black dog, my best friend comes to all my kids yoga with me. He's coming, become a, become a star soon. Number four, 
four parts of the body. So if you did my sun salutation warm up, I did say that Milo's favourite pose was the downward dog. And that is four points. One, two, our hands, and then feet on the floor, three, four. So now you're in a downward dog looking at your feet. If you do yoga with me already, you might have some other ideas. You might choose to do a different posture. Maybe you'll do your reverse table on your bottom, hands down, fingers facing forwards, and then lift your tummy up, looking at your tummy. But you might have other ideas. It's good to be creative. You don't have to do the ones I'm doing, so you can do any you like. Amazing, good. The last one, I've left this one to the last one because I don't want to see people just standing on two feet. Number two. How creative can you be? Some of us had a go at half moon last week, so we might challenge ourselves. So if you stand from the side like I am, and then you can put your fingertips or hands on the floor, hand on the floor, lift the back leg, and then you can take your arm up for your half moon. This is our two points. Good, amazing. Or what else could you do? Hmm, have a think. Hmm, bottom maybe? And then you might have one hand down or one foot down. But try and make it really special. In yoga we try and have lots of, it's called body tension. It's when we're really using our muscles to be really strong. Or you might even do wide legs touching your toes looking through your legs loads of ideas for two rather than just standing like this if you were standing like this make it yoga crown of the head up like a soldier shoulders down you could even come onto your tiptoes so in kids yoga we like to challenge ourselves lots good hi kelly so that was our numbers game now we're going to do some alphabet yoga there's lots of alphabet yoga things on my YouTube channel, Ali Morton. So today, because it's sunny and we love the sunshine, it's helping us with this current situation. We just feel so much happier and warmer inside when it's sunny. Let's spell the word sun. Three letters, sound it out. S-U-N, 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 sun. First letter is our S. So think about how you're going to make an S with your body. If you've got a sibling with you or an adult, you can do it as a partner balance lying down. Here's my S. This is just my example, but you can do any example. You can do your own S. And also, mine's not very curly because my legs are quite straight, but I'm trying my best and that's all we can do. So we've done our S, well done everyone. What's the second letter in sun? Hmm. S ah, ah for umbrella, U. How are you going to make your U shape? I'm going to do mine on my back today with my legs and my arms up really straight, looking up at my thumbs. That's how I'm going to do my U today. Good. Maybe even lift your head up so you can you so you can feel your uh, uh, um, tummy muscles working, your abs. Good. Hug your knees in and rock up. Last letter for sun. S U N N. Exactly. Now, when I've done N with my kids' yoga groups in schools, we always have a bit of a deliberation. We have a bit of a debate, which is really good to talk and chat and discuss things. I said. Is downward dog not an N? And they said to me, mm, it is Ali, but it's quite boring. So maybe you can think of a more exciting way of doing N. Uh, mm, N for net. Mm, maybe we could do our reverse table like we did before. Though my head's kind of in the way, isn't it? Have a think what you could do for your N. And maybe you could drop me a message on Better Together Dorset or Ali on Yogarama Facebook page and give me your ideas because I need some fresh ideas for my yoga classes. N's a tricky one. Anyway, 
The last alphabet yoga one we're going to do today is our word joy. What does it mean if we're joyful? If we're joyful, if somebody's joyful, they're happy, they're smiley, they're normally really kind, especially yogis, kind to others as well to spread the joy and the love and the kindness. So let's spell the word joy. I haven't thought this through, so I'm not too sure how my J is going to look. I'm going to have to think on my feet here. So think of how you're going to do your J shape. I normally have a child that will tell me how to do it really well. I'm not sure how to do it, so maybe I'll do... Does that work? Or like that? For my J? Looks more like a Y, doesn't it? Maybe if I have my hands together. And I've got my tail and my feet. Oh! Bouncing on my knees. <laughs> you can also do it lying down as well, but for the... So you can see me, it's better that I'm doing it for sitting up. Maybe I'll try and do one lying down. Yeah, that does work too. So that's our joy, our first letter of the word joy, J. Ooh, now the next one is just the second sound. There are just two sounds. Yeah. Think of your phonics, there's two sounds in joy. J, oi, we're using a digraph. So, oi. There's different ways of making oi. I wonder if anyone can discuss it at home. Which digraph we're going to use for the word joy. It's at the end of the word. So the first letter in our digraph oi is o. And have a think about the last one. So we know it's an o. So can you make an o with your body? Now, we could do our O, just be really careful when you do this one if you're with me. Tuck your toes under and then look at, try and touch your heels, making your shape really round like an O. An O. Good. Take your head back and then we push from the legs to come up and then find a child's pose to keep our back nice and safe. If you wanted to do a different O, you can just curl up in a ball. That might be your O as well today. Like I said, be creative, there's no wrong answer. Amazing, so let's come back to that last letter in the word joy, the digraph OI. We knew it was an O, an O. Can, you, can anyone tell me? Why? Yeah, 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 amazing. So, your ya, yeah. ya yeah for yacht, ya yeah for yoghurt. So, I'm going to stand with my arms up for my Y. What are you going to do? You could do something different. I'm going to look up and send my chest up and head up, looking up at the sun. Ah, oh, taking a deep breath in in your pose for Y, for your letter ya yeah or Y. Good. We've made two words in alphabet yoga this morning, sun and joy. Well done. Give yourself a thumbs up. Give yourself a clap. Amazing. Well done, guys. Awesome. So already this morning, we've used our numbers, we've done some maths, and we've done alphabet yoga. We've done some letters as well. We've done some English, reading. Good. And spelling, which is awesome. Amazing. Okay. So I'm not going to have time for the game I was going to do, but I'll integrate it with the rest of the session so what we're going to do let's think about joyful we talked about what that meant we're kind we're happy and we just feel good inside when we are joyful when we are happy so we've got some postures for that today if you are really joyful and really happy i don't know about you but sometimes i feel so happy i feel like i could fly I feel like i could fly like a bird so we're going to do our flying bird this morning. So maybe you can choose what bird you're going to be. This is our flying bird or also aeroplane. Maybe you'll be joyful if you went on an aeroplane on holiday after this is all over. So come to stand up, feet together. Now it's balanced so we need to choose somewhere to look at near the floor or in ahead of you that's moving. Take one foot behind you. 
just your tiptoes on the floor and then open your arms out and take your back leg up a bit. Good. You can flap your wings as well like a bird. Keep breathing in your posture. Come back down. Good balancing everyone. Let's try the other leg. Sometimes one foot is harder than the other so just be careful. You might need to have your hands in centre to start with. Take the back leg up. Oh, this is my iffy leg, a bit wobbly. Really concentrating. Flap your wings if you want to for your flying bird. Or stay still. Good, come back down, shake it out. Amazing, well done guys, awesome. Happy baby. Come and lie down on your back for happy baby. Bring your knees in to, towards you. Hug your knees in. Give yourself a hug. Then open your knees. Arms through the middle. Stretch forward. Can you touch your feet? Grab your feet. And then the tops of my feet are reaching high and I rest my head down. So my knees are super wide and then you can just rock side to side like a happy baby. Part of our joyful yoga poses today. Good. Bring your knees together, hug the knees. Let's rock and roll because this is another thing that's really fun. When we're joyful, we're doing fun things and everything is really enjoyable. We enjoy doing things. Think of the word enjoy. It has the word, it has joy in it. Enjoy. Good. This one we've done already. And this one I thought is good for joyful because when we're joyful, our heart is open and it's warm. And this one I always think is really nice for my heart because we're going to send our heart up to the ceiling, up to the sky or the ceiling. So tuck your toes under. Let's have another go at this pose. Some of us did it in our joy word, O. Oh. And just touch your heels, head back, look up. And think of something that makes gives you joy. Think of something that makes you happy. Ice cream, <laughs> the beach. For me, it's my morning smoothie. I love my morning smoothie. Come back to the top and then take a child's pose. So sit on your heels, head down, tickle your feet. Try not to make yourself giggle. <laughs> Good. Now, I used to be a primary school teacher and then nothing gave me nothing but joy whenever I had to give a child in my class star of the week. Have you ever been star of your week? Have you ever had an award at school for being amazing at your work? Maybe you've been kind to somebody. Let's be stars. Stand up. Now we did star before, so legs out wide, but I'm going to challenge you this time. So take your arms up like in a star shape. Come up onto your tiptoes, balance on your tiptoes. Shine bright like a star. Good, now extra challenge. Can you come off one foot like a shooting star? Foot back down. Can you try the other side? So my arms are nice and straight and wide like a star. Good, come back down. Just wriggle your, ooh, wriggle your body. Ooh, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Really nice, well done everyone. Amazing, so we've done our joy poses today. Really lovely. So the last part of the session this morning is our mindful element. And when we're mindful, it means that we are looking after our mind, our head. And our thoughts can be a bit clouded at the moment and we can have lots of thoughts going on so we do these exercises to help promote our joyfulness so I've got two affirmations for you it's not homework but lovely things to remember and little activities to do so adults these are good these are really good. You can actually make these um, at home. It's a nice activity for the children. Um, if anybody needs any pointers or any help making cards, if that's what an activity you'd like to offer in your learning, um, mess drop me a message and I can support you with that. 
Um, like I said, I'm a primary school teacher, so I'm more than happy to help with any advice on anything if you're struggling. So children, today I will be, and each card has an, a posture with it, today I will be joyful like a puppy. I saw the most amazing puppy the other day. Puppies give me so much joy. So, let's do our puppy dog pose. Today I will be joyful like a puppy. So just be on your knees and then we're gonna come onto our hands and now walk or slide the hands forwards. And now rest your chin or your head on the floor. This is joyful like a puppy. So my hips are high, joyful like a puppy. Take a nice breath in and breathe out. Today I will be joyful like a puppy. Maybe say that to somebody in your family. Try and say it a few times so that you remember your affirmation. And this will help if at any point in the day you don't feel joyful, tell yourself it, remind yourself to be joyful. How could you make yourself more joyful? Good, the last one of the day. Today I will shine like the sun because it's sunny today. And I thought that this works well with joyful because when we are joyful, we smile at people and we feel happier. And what you, you send that lovely shine out to other people, shine like the sun. So let's do our sunshine breath to finish. So standing straight, hands by your heart. Breathe in, stretch the arms up, look up at the thumbs, breathe in, hold the breath. And then we're going to slowly breathe out through the nose, open the arms, send the arms down by the sides. Today I will shine like the sun, breathe in, take the arms up. Breathe out, take the arms down. Today I'll be, I will shine like the sun. Amazing, well done everybody, amazing. Good, so the last part of our yoga today is our mindfulness. So we're gonna do our relaxation. So when you're ready, just come to lie down on your back and make your body the shape of a star as you're lying down. Make sure that you have some nice quiet music on if you have music on adults, so that it helps to create calm where you are. Lie down flat and have your legs apart arms away from the body and then the palms facing up rest your head down so you're like a star shape good take a deep breath in and hold the breath open the mouth and breathe out again take a deep breath in eyes closed lying down open the mouth and breathe out and children, just stay lying down where you are with your eyes closed and just listen to Ali's story. With your eyes closed, become as still as possible. Feel your breath going in and coming out again. You can maybe place your hand on your chest and tummy like we did at the beginning. Breathing in, feel the breath move and feel the body move, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Imagine you are holding a cup in your hands. How does your cup feel in your fingers? Is it smooth? What texture is the cup? What colour is your cup? This is your cup of joy. What does joy mean to you? How does joy feel in your body? How does joy feel in your mind? What makes you feel joyful inside? What makes what things make you feel joyful? Maybe think of what activities make you feel joy. What feels 
you with joy in your heart and your mind and your body. Look into your cup of joy. How full is it? Is it full? Is it half full or is it empty? If you'd like to fill your cup, you can pour more joy into your cup. Take in a deep, deep breath of joy and happiness and breathe out joy into your cup. See how the cup fills up with joyful, wonderful feeling of happiness. Say to yourself, I am joyful and happy. I am joyful and happy. My cup is full of joy. My cup is full of joy. My heart is full of joy. My heart is full of joy. And my body is full of joy. Imagine yourself doing the things that make you feel joyful. Imagine joyful colours and listening to music that makes you feel joyful. Imagine looking at joyful pictures and being with joyful people. Breathe in joy. Breathe out joy. Again, breathe in joy. Breathe out joy. How does it feel to have joy in your life? Hold your cup of joy and feel full to the brim of joy and happiness. I am joyful. I am joyful. When you're ready, just slowly move your fingers, keep your eyes closed and your body still. Now move your toes too. Now move your hands and your fingers. Now move your hands, fingers, toes and feet. When you're ready, take a nice deep breath in and stretch your arms up above your head. Stretch your legs together and stretch your toes away, stretch your fingers away. And now let's give our legs a big hug, bring your knees in, rock side to side. And let's rock and roll up to sitting when you're ready. You can do three rocks if you want, why not do a few, one, get some nice energy for the rest of your day. Good, lovely. And when you're ready, come to sit with Ali and Milo. Good. Take a deep breath in, keep your eyes closed. Hands on your eyes. Breathe in. Open the eyes so it looks really dark. And then breathe out, open the eyes and let the hands come down. At the end of